Hey everybody, welcome back to Cottonwood Hill Farms. So, I didn't get much video the last, oh, it's been almost two weeks now or so, but uh, as you can tell, things have changed around here a little bit. And uh, we just went through sub-zero temperatures and uh, we got, I think it was close to 16 inches of snow over about 10 days or something like that. As you can see, the temperature one night got down to negative I think it was negative 17. I think it got a little colder than that. And the negative, the wind chill was down to like negative 50, which uh, I don't remember in my adult life, at least when the wind chill has ever been that low. And even when I was a kid, I don't know that I ever remember a negative 50 wind chill. But uh, anyway, it was cold. It was really cold. And I, uh, we were so busy. I didn't have time to pick the camera up. Not only that, but it was so cold out. I didn't want to mess with it. We were between feeding animals and watering animals and pushing snow. And the snow was so deep in the lots. I was having to push the lots out just so the cattle could get around. And, uh, it was, it was quite a mess. And like I said, you got, you can see we got piles of snow just everywhere. Uh, now it's been two days or so that we've been in warmer temperatures. Uh, today it's like 35 degrees. I think it's what it's supposed to be up to right now. It's like 32. The feels like are about the same temperature. So we're, we're definitely through that. And I think the, we're kind of getting a little bit of a fog or it's not much of a mist. It's more just fog and kind of damp today. But I know the weather uh, after the next two days, we get through the next two days, I think the sun's supposed to come out. And then I think in the next week, it's supposed to be in the mid to upper 40s. And then there's a couple days they're saying in the 50s. So this snow is going to be gone in no time and it's just going to be a muddy mess. Anyway, um, we got through it. We had some breakdowns. Um, the skid loaders was acting up again. So I'm, I quit using it. The uh, My truck has got some issues. It broke down on me i got a bunch of parts ordered for it and then the tractor the one of the front rims snapped off on the tractor when i was pushing snow and uh so yeah it was fun it was fun dealing with all that stuff the cold when it gets cold all bets are off but uh anyway we're through it uh we're uh we're on the opposite side of it so that's a good thing today uh, i'm gonna uh, i just finished up milking <clears throat> excuse me and bottling and so what we're gonna do now is uh, I, I gotta feed feed everything. I gotta put a bale in for the calves, which I'm not quite sure how that's gonna go because I still don't think I can get the gates open yet. I'm gonna have to shovel shovel some. Hopefully I can get a gate open. If not, I'll just have to dump it over the fence and then uh, feed the fresh cows, obviously give them their square bales. And then we've got the vet coming out this morning. We're gonna do, uh, we gotta preg check our fresh cows. I, I've done a pretty good job keep, keeping track of the, lack, or the uh, excuse me, the uh, heat cycles. But uh, I just want to make sure there's a there's a couple cows that uh, they they cycled again after I, they were bred and they didn't cycle for several months or for a few months and then they cycled again and so I think I don't know they were they're, they're, that cycle the one for sure the cycle she came through uh, that second time after I thought she was bred it could have been a, I don't know if it was a false heat or not because that's for those of you that don't know there are such things as false heats. Uh, uh, cattle, I know for sure. I'm not sure about other animals. I would imagine it can be the same. But for cattle, they can uh, they can cycle again, or it'll look like they're cycling again. It's just a false heat, is what we call it. So anyway, I just want to make sure because it's karma. And if she's if she did get bred the first time I thought she did, I need to dry her up now because she, we've only got about 30 days until she'll have a calf, which is not the greatest. But I just, I wanna make sure. Um, otherwise it's gonna be a couple months if, if that's not the case. And then, like I said, a few of the other ones, I just wanna make sure I'm still right on. That's very important, obviously, with milk and cows. You gotta make sure you dry them up at the correct time. Rule of thumb is you need to give them 60 days for them to kind of recover replenish their themselves and, and their body condition and all that some of our cows uh, a lot of these are you've heard me probably talk if you've been following about how some of our cows are cross breeds and uh, so we do have some pretty hardy animals there's a few cows that uh, their body condition is just stays phenomenal no matter what and so I'm not terribly worried about them but still it's just nice to know when we're going to be having calves and when we can expect them and that, that kind of stuff
there's that rim it had a uh, fracture in it i know but uh, i didn't think it was quite that bad but it just that thing just snapped off luckily I was pushing snow when it happened and luckily I was able to steal a rim off of the Massey and put on there they're the exact same size so that's convenient uh, but I got to get that other rim ordered because right now the, the front end of the Massey is up on blocks I gotta feed these two little boneheads What are you hissing at? Oh, Lexi followed me in here. That wind was horrible there for a few days. I threw all those, that's that uh, bedding. I threw all those bales up there and that gave the cows, the dry cows, the nurse cows and whatnot, a nice, uh, nice little area here. They could get out of the wind, worked out real well. That's real ladylike Bella. These two act like I never feed them. I gotta see if I can dig this gate out. This spring, I've gotta go through and I need to reset this gate and that gate. I need to raise them up three or four inches. When I put them on, they're just, I put them down too low to the ground. Well, you can kind of see where this gate's at here versus that one. These need to be raised up. I also got to get the snow away from the slider. This thing freezes up every year. I got to uh, I got to do a better job next year of I got to clean this out around here before winter gets before winter sets in. That way this thing doesn't freeze. It's either that or I raise the track up, which that looks like a whole lot of work. So I think I just need to shave this off a little bit and dig down. It's just from years years of uh, organic material building up right here. Gave these guys a square bale yesterday and I and I sweeped up down here the excess hay. So I pushed that up for them. I'm gonna throw some bales down for today.
these guys have been getting picky on me. These are, so that hay that I'm feeding them right there is that second cutting alfalfa that I was having the leaf shatter on. It was really dry and it's still pretty good hay, but uh, it's not as good as the third and fourth cutting that I've got in there. And the, obviously the, the third and fourth cutting was on top and I've kind of been, the way I've been picking at that hay is trying to distribute it evenly. But obviously the first bunch of hay that I had to feed would have been the uh, fourth cutting and the third cutting because it kind of covered everything. There's still some of that left, but now I'm getting into the second cutting finally, the last, oh, it's been four days or so, and uh, they're not eating it near as much because they're getting picky on me. But I've been feeding round bales too. Those round bales from the horseshoe on the second cutting I got there, <clears throat> was that second or first? I don't remember, anyway. Um, and they, uh, they've been loving that stuff. So they've been eating that more than the square bales, but they're, they're still eating the squares. But like I said, they're just, they're getting picky on me. So the vet's gonna be here in about a half hour, 45 minutes. I'm going to, I'm gonna bring the fresh cows, put them in this, uh, put them in this barn pen over here. And then I'm gonna separate off, uh, there's two dry cows I'm gonna bring over. So I'm gonna bring them over and then put them all together and then I'll let them back in here to eat until the vet gets here. But I wanna get them sorted off, that way it's done and the vet's not waiting on me. Good job, ladies. Good job. She could be due here on the 19th of February, or it could be the 7th of March, okay. one of the two. Okay. Does she have a name or? Karma. 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 She's gonna be your shorter date. She's gonna be a shorter date. She's like a five. She's five months. Mm -hmm. okay. Come on. There you go. Josie. Yeah, she's got she's got feet sitting right okay. up here. Yeah, she's getting real close. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, you're an eight. Oh. There you go, Mom. Could she be short? Has she been exposed? She to would be. Could she be like 30 she, days? She hasn't cycled since. Uh, it would have been October 28th. Oh, she's open. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's not good. 
Just she hasn't her. cycled since then either. Yeah, I'm gonna check her ovaries and just see if she's got like a cyst or anything like that. Uh -huh. It's not finished. <laughs> she should be at eight months almost. Yep, eight and a half or something right here. Yep. There you go. She should be like a, like a two and a half. Two and a half. Two and a half getting close to a three, maybe. Two and a half, three, yeah, yeah, November 2nd, so. So, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yep. This is no Nola. Nola? Good. Because she, she should have, like, I think the 19th of February is going to be big. Oh. It's a big old foot. Yes, you were right. Yeah, she felt she, like a nose at first. Yeah, she, 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 yeah, she, she should be real soon. Yep, she is. She is. Oh, she's like, I got your number, baby. She turned back and looked at me. <laughs> Come on. There you go. Come on. Come on. All the way up. There you go. Do you have a name? Uh, Elsa. Elsa? <laughs> so you can't name them? Yeah. <laughs> Seven to eight-ish? Okay, yeah, that's about right. Yeah. That's about Seven. right. This one's 24. Okay. Come on. That's the same as the last one? Yeah, she should mm -hmm. be using the wrong one. This is Victoria. Yeah. All right. Yeah. yeah thanks, Forty-five days. Yeah. I can't. So it could be like a month. Yeah, but her her right horn feels a little bit bigger. Cause she would. But she she could be. You'll want to recheck her. Um, which ones. which is fine because she was a fall cow. Okay, yeah, she but she I, might be thirty days. Maybe that's getting to be a little touchy for me. She's to not. Feel. She's not open though. Uh, I don't. She could be. That's what okay. I'm saying. You you might want to recheck her. Um, she's got. I I think she's thirty days. I think she's bred in this right horn. There's a little bit of fluid there. Okay. Here you go. Come on. Oh my god. There you go. Yeah, she's like Thanksgiving ish. Yep. Yep. Yep, give her a two. <clears throat> well, she. Let's no, see. She's, she'll be a little further. I was going to say, she, that was. Uh, she's going to be like a three. Yeah, September 29th. Yep. Three or four ish. Well, we got them all preg checked, and out of. Uh, we checked. 12, no, 12, and out of 12, there was one open, which uh, she was one, she was one that, uh, gotta turn the lights off, she was one that, uh, she's not producing a whole lot anyway, um, the vet said they could feel maybe possibly a cyst on one of her ovaries, so I don't know, she was, she's not producing a lot, like I said, she was one that was kind of in question on whether we're going to keep her or not, so we'll, we'll see, she hasn't cycled since she was in with the bull last, which was, Gosh, it would have been in November, I believe. So, I don't know. We'll kind of have to see how it goes on that one. But uh, I'm glad we got that done. The rest of them are bred. And I'm pretty spot on with all of my record keeping as far as their heat cycles and everything. So, that's that's a good feeling. So, I'm glad, glad I got that done. Well, that's going to do it for this one, guys. Thanks for coming along, like always. Uh, we appreciate it. Appreciate all the support. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you know anybody else that might enjoy it. Uh, go ahead and share it with them too. We'd appreciate that as well. Don't forget to uh, like and subscribe. Hit the notification button. Uh, don't want to miss any of the other videos coming out. Hope you guys are all staying warm out there, enjoying your winter, and it uh, looks like spring might be right around the corner. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But you guys take care. We'll see you in the next one.